This is Boston Chris with another great episode of the ETX Rock Show. Louise here. The Descript. Featuring all genres and styles of entertainment. And what we do call the ETX Rock. Let's hear from Louise, please. From the unheralded and unheard to the legends and beyond. Out of the box. <laughs> ETX Rock. It's awesome. We keep them coming. Five dollars. That's pocket check. Well, hey, y'all. This is Haley McDaniel. Are y'all ready for this? ETX Rock Show is the greatest show of all time. Okay. We are ETX Rocks. The ETX Rock Show is the best show of all time, say? The other shows, you're good, you're real good. As long as we're around, you'll be second best, say? Cut! Hey guys, it's Ali Venable. I'm here at Everything That Blings. Thank you for tuning in to the ETX Rock Show. Hanging out in the wet When they dug me And my gates away They hung up their gun And they headed to the grave
All right, guys, Boston Chris here with another great episode of the ETX Rock Show. And we have a huge treat for you guys today. We're sitting here with members of the Junior Boy Jones Blues Band. And uh, these guys are all blues legends in my mind and a lot of other folks' opinions as well. Uh, we also have Carrie LaPie Jones here. And I'm going to introduce everybody to, to everyone here. We have Carrie LaPie Jones, and she's on vocals and uh, just a badass vocalist. Unbelievable. She won't tell you that, but I'm telling you. Uh, we have the one and only Andrew Junior Boy Jones, uh, who you guys might recognize, who was on this show last year, uh, episode 21. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, we have Russell Action Jackson in the house. Uh, <laughs> I was told to say that, so if I get in trouble. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know who Russell Action Jackson is, I'm a huge fan of yours, sir, and it's a, a thrill to have you here. Uh, he was... B.B. King's bassist for six and a half years, toured internationally with him, um, an original Chicago blues artist as well. Um, really had a big hand in, in making Chicago the way it is today, and I certainly appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. And right to his immediate left, we have Tommy the Thrill Hill, um, one of the best percussionists, I think, in, in Texas. Um, and I just want to thank all of y'all for taking the time to talk with us today. So I guess we'll go in, in order here, and since the boss lady is sitting to my right, we'll start with her. Carrie, I know that you have some projects that you're working on as far as CDs and albums and stuff like that go, and I know that you also use Junior Boys Band as a backing band. Uh, so tell folks you know, what they can expect from you. Well, we are um, in the studio in the fall with some new original music that him and I are going to be recording, writing, and he'll be producing. Also in the fall, I'm working on a documentary on um, musicians um, from Dallas that are international musicians that are maybe in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. Um, and I just want to tell the story of the authentic thing that Texas has to offer, not just the popular thing, but the real thing. So it's pretty neat. And I know, I also know that you're a heck of an artist. I see your fence murals that you're doing on Facebook and uh, ridiculous stuff. And um, do you, uh, uh, are the people you put on your fence, are they really big influences for you? They are big influences. Um, I'm working on one with Tommy and uh, Russell, and, you know, we got Andrew on there two or three times. And I'm going to put Etta James and Aretha Franklin and Freddie King and Johnny Taylor. He's real important. But mostly, um, I just like painting legends that should uh, be facilitating a memory of uh, great art. So, dig it and uh, I'm going to ask the humble guy here. You're a very humble guy. So I'm going to ask him a question that's going to make him not be humble, I hope. Uh, Junior Boy, do you consider yourself a blues legend? <laughs> you know, uh, people say that, but I, it, it never dawned on me, you know, to be a blues legend. I, because I, shoot, I play with the legends. And uh, for me, they are the the legends because they are legends to me you know but maybe uh maybe my age has something to do with it and uh being around a long time so yeah and uh i'll let other people say it that's the best way to do it i think that's how legends are made is is by other people being respectful and, and listening to your craft right. and i knew he would not say that he was a legend but um i wanted to put you on the spot because you know, I threw you a lot of curveballs last year in our interview, so I figured I'd throw one high and up tight this okay, time. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> All right, and again, we have Action Jackson, Mr. Russell Action Jackson, in the house. Um, <laughs> so, first of all, I got to say, we have a lot of talent here in East Texas, and you guys out there know that. Um, and a lot of great bassists come from East Texas. Um, but, man, I'll tell you, you absolutely blew my mind with your playing today. Um, I, I, I think what I want to ask you, since you've 
really started a movement in Chicago with the Blues, helped start it. Um, how important do you feel that? How, how important do you feel it is that the Blues stays relevant and, and mentoring younger artists? That's, that's my whole thing now. Is to try to keep, as Willie Dixon said, if you lose the roots, you lose the fruits. So if you get away from the blues and don't try to keep it authentic, then it just takes off. So that's my whole thing now that I try to do. Um, keeping the stand-up base of Willie Dixon's leg legacy alive in the blues, which keeps it rootsy. So uh, you got a lot of young kids coming up and they need to know about that before they uh, find out about you know uh, Stevie Ray or Johnny Lane or any other guitar players or whatever. They need to know music yeah and I think a lot of times if you don't cultivate something even if you've been a part of that movement for so long as you have um, if you don't continue to cultivate something then it will die and it's I think it's important as someone who's a little younger than y'all I'm 40 years old but I mean I know who all of you guys are just by your your craft and I mean if you guys don't care about mentoring people then then it's just gonna go away no, because we were mentored at one time by by the legends as junior boy uh, spoke up on a few minutes ago we were mentored by the legends and all they do in a roundabout way is ask you to pass it on because if you don't pass it on then like I say it gets gets diluted and it can be taken away you know it could be just not what it, what, it, what it should be you know and that's what I try to do so it's it's just taking an active role in, in mentoring and uh, Tommy how do you feel about you know kind of passing on your experience and knowledge to a younger generation well you know I play right now I play a lot in in uh, in the church and uh, I got a lot of young young real young kids like three and four years old so they've been watching me and watching me and some 12 and 13 and I I, I want to pass it on I want to you know keep it going and uh, let somebody else you know benefit from it also uh, music wise you know, but uh, yeah, I want to pass it on. Keep going, keep going. And I mean, all of you guys have you know thirty, forty, fifty years playing music. So I would love to hear from you. I mean, how how do you keep that passion alive to just continue on, keep keep creating? Well, when you see guys like uh, Andrew Junior Boy Jones keep doing it, you know, I'm not gonna let him do it, and I don't do it, you know. And Russell Jackson and other other cats, you know, uh, in my age range, which I am young, but you know. Uh, but when you see other cats doing it, and then I just have that have that thing myself, I want to do it. I just want to continue to do it as long as I can, you know. And I, I'm going to ask you the same question, Junior Boy. How do you keep that fire burning? To I mean, you guys are from Dallas, so you're here in East Texas, and you're playing the the Big Pines Blues Festival. It's not your first time out here. You guys play all over the country, all over the world. So how do you keep that fire burning after 40, 50 years? Uh, it's just, uh, it's a yearning. Uh, in fact, uh, Tommy and I talk quite often, and uh, I was just telling him I pick my guitar up every day because uh, I guess it frightens me for the, to even think that I might lose something. You know, and I, I look back uh, at some videos, uh, how fluid I was, and I want to keep that and uh, keep my skill. Just keep my skill and, uh, that's crazy. You're still trying to learn. Always learning. I've never stopped. And uh, in fact, uh, Tommy and I saw some videos today uh, of some 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 of my people I like to listen to: uh, Robin Ford, Larry Carlton. You know, uh, but I look at it, look at the blues aspect and they and the knowledge they bring to the guitar, the neck, and uh, and how they use the different modes to play. You know, and it's and uh, it, and incorporate it and use your own heart with it, you know. And it's all about you being you and displaying uh, your personality to the music. To, and uh, that's a big part of it for me, you know, and, and it excites me. I'm, I'm still excited, so. So, I mean, the, the passion and excitement is just a natural part of your fiber. Right. It's just. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy, I still enjoy it. And uh, to get with friends that uh, I've been knowing for years, and they still, they still, <laughs> we call it handling up. They still doing it, and uh, I guess uh, you know it's an inspiration to see Russell, 
see Tommy. We're, we're still doing it. and uh, But we know what we have to do to keep, to not become uh, extinct. So we, we keep working at it. And uh, and, and now it's a pleasure to, to do it because uh, uh, it's not easy. All right, so we were extremely blessed to catch a set from these guys and girl earlier tonight. And uh, honestly, one of the tightest bands I've ever heard in my life. And um, I know that you guys don't play together a lot. I mean, you, you all have a history with each other, obviously. But, I mean, you can tell there's all that chemistry on stage between y'all. And then, um, you know, Miss Carrie walks up there on that stage and just exudes a different kind of energy and just takes control of everywhere. I mean... Uh, so my question for you, Carrie, is where does that energy come from? Well, for one thing, these guys right here set a high standard. You know, I've heard all three of them say, bring the big stage to the little stage everywhere you go. I heard Tommy say just yesterday he has a responsibility to, a responsibility to his God-given talent. So you got to put your best foot forward every, every single time. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are, you know. So I really just, to thine own self be true. And these guys, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking. So you got to own it when you have Russell and, and, and uh, Tommy and Junior Boy do their thing. So, um, and it comes naturally. So I just... Um, it's truly a blessing to be able to play with some, some guys that are of such a high caliber. So I have to respect that too, because I guarantee if I was half-stepping, I would not be on that stage with these guys. So um, I just gotta, gotta keep, it, keep it up, keep up with the, with the big dogs. And uh, I mean, when, I, when we walked up today, uh, Carrie was side stage and, and she was the first person I approached. And um, Carrie said, you know, Russell Jackson's on that stage. And I was like, no, he ain't. And she was like, yeah, right there. He's playing bass. I was like, what? And so then we put our hands up and we both had goosebumps on our arms. And I was like, like the Russell Jackson, like the BB King Russell Jackson. And she's like, yep. I was like, okay. All right, cool. I got this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So. I'm good. So I got to know, man, B.B. King, I mean, we're talking probably the penultimate blues artist of our generation. How did that happen? Well, it was a, it was a process. I started playing bass in 74 in the Army, believe it or not. And, uh, thank, you thank you. And then I got out, moved to Chicago in 76, and I got with Otis Clay. I played with Otis Clay for three years, and that led to opening up for BB. And at the time, BB's music was starting to uh, be a little more progressive, a little funky. The, the Jazz Crusaders were producing him, and uh, BB needed a bass player that could play the old school and the new school, and that was me. And during the tour, uh, he, he checked me out a lot, and one thing led to another. And eight months later, I was in his band. So I mean, that first gig with BB. Uh, what are you thinking? Well, you didn't have time to think because we got there late. The bus left Chicago. When we got to the gate. We had like 20 minutes. We had to walk on stage and start playing, right? And I, I didn't know anybody in the band. Uh, in, it could have been a nightmare. But the only good thing about it was we had played a lot of BB stuff around Chicago. You know, everybody was doing BB King songs, so therefore we knew most of the material and went out there, I walked off the bus, onto the stage, no rehearsals, it could have been disastrous, but we pulled it off. So a lot of times, you know, we talk to a lot of artists on the show that have had the opportunity to play with big folks and, or even be big folks themselves or whatever, but uh, I think the one thing I hear from everybody is it's all about your professionalism, it's all about your experience, and I mean, if you walk in there and you act like me around Russell Jackson, it's probably not going to work out too well for you. But, um, yeah, and, and then Carrie says, call him Action Jackson. And I'm just like, I'm not sure I can do that. But, hey, I did it right. When, you, when I'm around the bigger stars that I play with, I'd be one like, oh, my God, this is so-and-so, so-and-so. But I said, I got to be cool. You got to be cool. Because they treat you just like you're them. 
You know, they don't look at themselves as being big stars, you know. And I'm talking, everybody should come out and see BB. So you have to really just be, you have to be cool. And I mean, someone like me, I, I'm so passionate for music of all forms. And so when I'm sitting here with people that have kind of laid the groundwork for what I get to listen to today and really enjoy and um, just take into my soul, it's it's very awe-inspiring for me to be around folks like y'all that laid that groundwork for us, you know, 40, 50 years ago and, you know, played with all of these big-time legends like Freddie King and B.B. King and Chussel, Charlie Musselwhite and all of these folks, man. It, it's just... Um, it's I hope that passion is not lost on people today because the groundwork and the foundation that you guys have set for us and still setting today is so important to music I think um, do you guys even realize that that's what you did back in the day uh, no I didn't you know I wouldn't didn't know I was laying groundwork but like enjoyed what I was doing like you say love what I was doing and I still love it today so and I'm hoping just something good comes out of it, you know, positive, you know. So uh, other than that, I did not know I was laying any groundwork. I wasn't doing it for groundwork. I was just doing it because I enjoyed doing it, and I couldn't do without it. So, so I mean, what do you guys, what do you guys think when you hear somebody like me that's so respectful of y'all and what you do? I mean, does it kind of take you back and realize that some things that maybe you weren't realizing at the time? Uh, yeah, I really, uh, I was just, just doing what I love to do, but I, I would be lying if I say I didn't, didn't like people respecting the art and what we've accomplished, you know, uh, that, that's, I, I think it's the fruits of our labor, but I don't look for it because my enjoyment is, uh, is me exciting me. You know, when I'm playing, I play new stuff or I play something that that really hits my heart, you know, and if I enjoy it, people are going to enjoy it. So. And I think that's a major factor in music right there, what you just said. If I enjoy it, then maybe other people will as well. And um, obviously that excitement and passion is still dripping from all of y'all, and that's amazing to hear and see. Um, from someone who loves local music and live music and all genres, uh, it's just a, a huge pleasure to get to talk with you all today. I appreciate it, first of all. Um, and I guess one last round of questions, and I'm just going to ask the same question, and you all can all answer it. Um, I want you all to kind of talk to people out there, and uh, I want your experience to speak to folks. If there's younger artists out there or maybe even, you know, artists that have been around a while that are struggling, um, what's your advice individually for these people out there that may be listening? If you can respect yourself and respect the music and, you know, give it all you got, it'll give tenfold back to you. Just take great care. That's awesome. Junior Boy? Uh, just keep working hard and, uh, and keep the spiritual thing first and just do it for you. I mean, I, I never entailed playing for anybody else but me because I enjoyed it and it gave me something but if it's giving me enjoyment it also give other people enjoyment so that's 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 a big point for me very cool Russell um, I would I would say just first of all you got to have a love for it you have a love and a passion for it and be honest to yourself uh, and it's not easy, but it's always a tomorrow, which can bring you a different day, a different different attitude and everything. So just stay positive and, and uh, be true to yourself. I would say um, practice, 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 and enjoy what you're doing. And keep learning, keep learning, but practice, practice, practice. And again, enjoy what you're doing. That's it for me. Guys, you heard it here. We have the legendary Andrew Jr. Boy Jones, Miss Carrie LaPai Jones, Russell Action Jackson, Tommy the Thrill Hill. This is the ETX Rock Show, guys. We're super excited to bring you all the best talent worldwide that we can find. Um, you guys, make sure you're checking these guys out on their social medias. I'm sure if they search each of y'all's names, they can find stuff on y'all, right?
and buy the music, guys. Support the artists. These guys have been doing it for over 50 years, and they're still bringing you the best in blues music. So make sure you're supporting them. Remember to always support live local music, and don't ever forget that ETX rocks.
Not only was I middle child, <laughs> but I'm one of them full-figured women that might be a little high maintenance. And let me tell you, before you step on my heart, won't you, don't you please, Mr. Man, take off your shoes. <laughs> I said, before you step on my hand. <laughs> Judy Boy's been tough lately, man. You know, the only thing feelings are good for is writing songs. I got a bad, I got a bad, gun got a money, I got a bad. I got the whiskey drinking blue. ETX Rocks. ETX Rocks. Alan Fox Band. Hey guys, we're the Morning Madhouse. I'm Carter. I'm Brandon. I'm Ginger. It's the best podcast ever made in all of history. Hi, this is Paul Bebo and I'm ETX Rocks with Boston Chris Barnes. You're gonna love it. ETX Rocks. Hey, it's Texas. DP here. ETX Rocks. Hey, it's Texas. We're Enduring House, a Christian rock band. ETX Rocks! Hey, this is Monty Pittman from ETX Rocks. Hey, East Texas, Jaden Farnsworth, ETX Rocks. Hey, everybody, I'm David McCarty with the Gypsy Creek Band. As always, ETX Rocks. Hey, guys, this is Chris Colston. Thanks for tuning in to the ETX Rock Show. To the ETX Rock Show. The ETX Rock Show. Ho! Hey folks, I'm WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I just want to make sure you support local music. Hi, East Texas, this is Chris Wayne. And Crystal Clark with KYKX 105.7 ETX Rocks. Hey, hey East Texas, Texas we're Lady Chaz, Chaz and the Tramps. Tramps. And just remember, ETX Rocks. Hey, this is Todd Freeman from ETX Rocks with Boston Chris. Hey, East Texas, I'm Waylon Hicks, and remember, ETX rocks. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the one and only SP, and Mexicano con estilo. Make sure to support your local music, and ETX rocks. Hello. 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 We're one way home. Hey, East Texas, this is Teaser. Please continue to support local music. And always remember, ETX Rocks! Howdy folks, this is Aaron Watson. Support local music and ETX Rocks. Hi, this is Chris Colston. Make sure you support local music at and ETX Rocks. Hey, this is Hannah Kirby. Thanks for tuning in to the ETX Rocks show. Tough guy, ho! Covering music-related content of all genres, if it filters through Eastern Texas, it's fair game. Y'all bring it. From Texas, Canada down to the coast, and Dallas down to Houston, and everything in between, we are ETX Rocks. <laughs> <laughs>